God, God is God is so forgiving. God is so kind. God is so forgiving. You can always turn back to God. It doesn't matter what you've done. No sin, no demon can separate you from the love of God. So don't ever feel like, oh, I've done this, I've done that. I can't go back to God. Excuse me. Where does that say that? Like, you can always go back to God. God loves all of us. It doesn't matter what you do. You can lie like 562 times a day and you can swear and you can beat people up. But as soon as you say, Lord, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I repent of what I've done. Lord, forgive me. God is going to forgive you. It's literally that simple. God literally just wants everyone to be like, cool. I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. But actually, this is a bad way to live. Like, this, what I'm doing is bad. Like, why don't I just go and see God? Let me see what he has to say. Let me just talk to him. Even for like five minutes, just listen to God's word and just hear what he has to say. God will literally tell you, I forgive you. <clears throat> He'll just tell you that like, I forgive you. Like, why are you being so hard on yourself? I forgive you. Like, some of the sins that we even do, God doesn't even remember it. So, I don't know why we hold it on ourselves to remember it when God doesn't even remember it. He says, I will remember their sins no more. God doesn't remember your sins, so why do you remember yours? You lied, you cheated, you did this, you did that. But God doesn't remember it, so why do you? You say, God, you know what? With like a repentant heart, you're like, God, you know what? I've done this, which is bad. And you know what? This, I'm not too proud of. But Lord, forgive me and take me back. I'm a child. Let the devil not hold me in his presence. Do you think God's going to say no? Like, I'm really surprised if you think God's going to say no. God's going to say, come home. Come home, like I love you. Literally, come home, like come home. Let's do this journey together. And I feel like the best thing you can do in life is give your all to God, because God loves you. And I think that's that's what I say. Jesus loves you, no matter what you do or anything. Jesus loves you, and don't ever forget that. And I feel like remembering that is such a big thing in the society that like Jesus loves you. To the fact that you died for your sins, he loves you so much. Don't let anything tell you that no one loves you, that Jesus loves you, that he died for you. Like, who in this UK would die for you? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, if you can go to Sainsbury's and say someone died for me, they don't want to die for you. They're going to look at you like, what? Die for who? Like, if someone came to me like, can you die for me? Excuse what? Give them such a look, I mean, no, actually, I'll just do this, die for you, who are you, I don't even know you, you know I mean, God, Jesus didn't even look us in the eye, he still says we're worth dying for, so, like, it doesn't matter what you do, Jesus loves you, and I feel like that's the message for today, Jesus loves you no matter what you do, Jesus loves you no matter, no matter what, so, don't, don't forget that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe.